ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Today my topic is about mentoring. Okay, now, first of all, we need to know uh, what is mentoring and we need to know the formal and informal uh, mentoring and also we need to know the professional development strategies for mentoring and finally we also need to know the multicultural approach to mentoring okay now first of all what is mentoring so mentoring helps to address the needs and gaps in the lives of many today's adult young adults uh, a right mentor for a mentee is always producing fruitful growth healthy and enhances a person by one providing encouragement to helping the student to realize his or her potential and three the ability to listen actively and without judgment and number four to understand that mentoring relationship has ups and downs intense periods and times of withdrawal and destruction okay mentoring can also fail by not communicating not communicating clearly, honestly and constructively and can be felt by um, not demonstrating respect and sensitivity for differences among the individuals and can be felt by asking too many directly or highly personal um, questions about family and friends too soon and also may be felt by the selfishness of the mentor as able to develop all itineraries, control the conversation to fit their own message uh, which are the hindrance, hindrances for mentees' personal growth and to block the pathway for expanded knowledge and experience. Okay, now skill the mentor. Uh, so we will wait for students to um, so uh, to share information about himself or herself when they are ready, and to uh, look for subject cues that their students may give uh, as to how the relationship is developing and what direction it may take to overall to improve the mentees and the skill mentor can take time out to get to know the mentees by having fun and discovering shared or new interests okay now mentoring program whether or not effective is by um, evaluation findings example measuring objectives like academic and uh, personal um, personal or workplace and to um, uh, look at the quality of relationships of mentors and mentees. Mentoring program also manage um, also like a proper assessment of the program whether or not the program uh, benefiting target adults achieving the objectives and whether or not certain mentoring behaviors are more effective than others. Okay, now we come to formal and informal setting uh, mentoring. Um, uh, uh, sorry. Formal and informal approach to mentoring. So, according to, to Galbraith and uh, Cohen in 1995, the current mentoring literature contains some misconceptions. Misconceptions such as the mentee is the primary uh, primary beneficiary in the mentoring relationships. Uh, misconceptions such as the positive experience result for both mentor and the mentee. Misconceptions about like relationships that are readily available for those who want them. Uh, misconceptions about like, finding a mentor uh, is the key of the individual growth and professional advancement. All right? So it is up to the organization, the mentor or the mentees and the society on how to adjust the misconceptions above. So mit mistakes help us to think through the facts on uh, mentoring all right? and help us to improve the facts about mentoring. So mentoring is a, um, pers a powerful emotional and passionate interaction whereby the mentor and the mentee experience personal, professional and intellectual growth and development. This is quoted by Kalbras and Zelenet in 1991. Next um, uh, comes to professional development strategies of mentoring. So according to Golian, in 1995, mentoring can obtain through mentoring association, the networking and the electronic communications. So although the bond between mentor and mentee remain the same, uh, professional development strategies can still enhance, improve and alert the needs of today's rapidly changing society. So a strategy such as finding resources from the bibliographies, the books, uh, the book chapters and miscellaneous documents and the journal articles and the workbook. Finally, the multicultural approach to mentoring. 
So according to Roger Gens in 1995, mentoring in a diverse society requires knowledge, skill, openness, fairness, discipline, commitment, and courage. And in a diverse society, we should focus on institutional value system, the goals, the academic content, and the procedures and the outcomes. Okay. So the example in the United States of America, the multicultural mentoring has the following issues. Uh, they, uh, number one is matching cultural characteristics. Number two issue is free choice mentoring, like free choice um, mentoring versus the formal mentoring program for women, people of color, and people with disabilities. Number three issue is, is about institutional climate, like sponsoring agencies um, developed into multicultural institutions. Number four issue is, is about impact of values and goals, for example, the function of an organization. Uh, the recipients of the organization must understand its mission and culture, and the multicultural approach uh, support the diversity with multiple cultural perspectives. Um, number five issue is the operational theory, like views on human or nature, example, are uh, people basically kind, uh, like beliefs, example, culture, time, respect, ethics, and knowledge, like race concern, example, what are the racial assumptions of the institution, uh, the its, um, its members, the mentor program, and the mentor itself. So the question is, how do you cope with the above and mention the mentoring issues? Okay. Now, today come to the uh, final, final part of my uh, discussion on mentoring is the conclusion. So, today we learn a uh, right mentor for a mentee is uh, always uh, producing fruitful growth, healthy and enhances a person. Uh, mentoring can also fail, okay? Mentoring program, uh, uh, effective or not effective, is by the uh, evaluation findings, the quality of relationships between the mentors and mentees and the program management and also um, in conclusion um, we also learned today that the current mentoring literature contains some misconceptions so misconception help us to think through the fetch on mentoring uh, program okay mentoring in a diverse society requires knowledge skills openness fairness discipline commitment and Courage. Okay, that's conclude my today's topic on mentoring. My next topic will be uh, materials used for adult learners, uh, material used for teaching adult learners. Okay, stay tuned. Thank you for listening and goodbye.